some of the things that happened while I was in the service that I hold on to, um, some of them are obviously going to be the relationships that I built, um, but at the same time, some of the negative impacts that it had on my life, um, as far as feeling that I wasn't prepared for reentry back into what we call the real world. I mean, almost everybody you'll talk to in the military, they refer to civilian life as the real world. Um, and in all reality, being in the military is a lot more real than what you do on the outside. Um, so for me, it was just not being prepared to come back out. That's what I've hold on, held on to the most. Um, and it, it still affects me to this day. For me, it was, um, well, I, I feel unique, but uh, obviously I know there's uh, plenty of people that go through the same situation as myself. Um, I was in an area where we were locked in, we didn't go anywhere, um, we couldn't deploy TDY, couldn't PCS. And this all happened prior to 9-11, and then of course it rolled into 9-11 in uh, Afghanistan and Iraq. When I got out, I actually got out on a medical separation. Um, and at the time that I was getting out, I was going through a separation with my wife, ex-wife. Then I found out she was pregnant with our first child. So for me, it was a feeling of getting kicked out when actually I was, I was getting out honorably. But I was scared because I didn't know what I was going to do with myself. I wasn't finished with my college. I didn't have a job lined up. I'm going through a divorce, and I'm also expecting my first child. How am I going to be a father? How am I going to support this child? I was scared. And I was battling with other issues at the same time. Alcoholism, something huge in the military that, you know, I wasn't able to get help with because of the fear of getting in trouble for the problems that I was getting myself into. Um, so the transition over wasn't, wasn't very smooth at all because nobody really asked me what was going on in my life. It was more, fill out this paperwork and this is what you're going to do.